Hey Sun Sway Sun, I'm Daisy Victoria. We are back for part two of making a cool fey creature costume. I decided to make this a separate video because this is all about working with Warbla for the very first time. Okay, first time. <laughs> And at the end, we're gonna put the Warbler pieces I made with the costume I made in the last video, and we're gonna get the whole look together. Ah yes, Warbler. <laughs> Warbler is a thermoplastic. That means that it is a plastic material that responds to heat. So when you heat up Warbler, you can shape it and form it and turn it into things. That's generally how thermoplastics work. Warbler is super cool and it's kind of made a huge splash in the cosplay scene and I've been wanting to try it for some time. I think I've been a little bit overwhelmed because it's like a new material that I don't know what I'm doing with and also it's a little bit pricey so Finally, I, you know, budgeted for some Warbler for this project. And if you saw the last video, you know how cheaply I got most of the supplies for the dress. So, hey, it was a little bit of a balance, right? So this Warbler sat in my room for a while before I finally started on my project. And I gotta tell you, it was not as hard as I anticipated. It's just that I didn't know what I was doing yet. Now, throughout this video, a lot of the techniques I'm doing, I learned from Kamui cosplay. So I really think that if you guys want to learn like, you know, the right ways to use Warbla, definitely check her out because she's got videos, she's got books, patterns, all kinds of things to help you. And hopefully my video will help show you what it's like to be a dabbler in your first attempt. Now I knew that because I didn't know what I was doing, I shouldn't pick too crazy of a project. And actually the breastplate that I thought I was gonna make for this costume, like with attached pauldrons and stuff, turned out to be a little bit bigger scope than what I really wanted to start with. So I ended up doing pauldrons, but because it's me, they're not simple pauldrons, they're like three layer dragon pauldrons. So, you know, trade-offs. So I'm gonna show you how to use Warbla for the first time. Let's go. This is gonna be a really challenging project. Luckily, I'm up for it. I've never used Warbla before. Just jumping right in there. It's totally new for me, and we will see how it goes. And as I was researching more about how to work with Warbla, I realized that I wanted to take out as many unknown variables as possible. And I noticed that Kamui cosplay has some really amazing armor patterns. So I went for one of them. I decided to use the dragon armor pattern that she has, and you can use this with just foam as well. Even with Warbla, you need a foam inner base that you're gonna cover with the Warbla. I'm actually also cutting out a breastplate pattern here because at this stage, I still thought I might make a breastplate with pauldrons attached. Yeah, that didn't happen because it turned out that the pauldrons were enough work on their own. I would love to try out some breastplates and other armor pieces at a later time, but this video is just going to be making the pauldrons. I thought this pattern looked so good for what I was going for. So it's got sort of that like organic kind of wild fey creature vibe going on, which is exactly what I was going for. And it has a shape similar to what I had in my head anyway. Now, naturally it would have been easiest to pick my first project as just a simple single layer pauldron, but no, I am me. And that means I had to choose a three layer weird curved pointy pauldron because that's just how we do things around here. Thank you. 
To build the foam base, I'm using contact cement to glue these pieces together. And I'll try to find all of these items on Amazon so I can link to them. I bought most of these at my local hardware store. With contact cement, you need to, uh, well, follow the directions on the can, I guess is the main thing, but you need to apply the contact cement with a little brush, and then you have to let it kind of get tacky for a little bit. So it'll stay on the can how long, make sure you follow it just in case you get a different one than I used. But once you've waited, I believe mine was at least 15 minutes. So once I waited at least 15 minutes, I came back and then I stuck all the edges together. And at that point, the contact cement is sticky and they'll just stick right to each other. It's pretty awesome. Kamui Cosplay also recommended sealing the edges of your seams on foam. I used this quick seal caulk to seal mine and it worked out pretty good. So now we get to the really, really fun part, the Warbla. There are a couple different types of Warbla. I'm using the Brown Warbla, which is the lower cost option. Brown Warbla is also the less smooth Warbla, and that was perfectly fine because the sort of fairy creature I'm going for, I don't think would have perfectly smooth pauldrons. I mean, look at the last video and the dress I made. This will go perfectly with it. So first I had to cut out pieces of my warbla that were big enough that I could work with them. So I needed a piece that basically fit over each shoulder pauldron piece. And I have six of those shoulder pauldrons because of the scope of the project I chose, three on each side. So I needed a rectangle of warbla cut out for each side, so like two per piece, so that they will basically sandwich around the foam. I used this heat gun to heat up the Warbla. Now remember, Warbla is a thermoplastic, which means it's going to get moldable and sticky when it's heated up. So it starts out very rigid and stiff, and as you heat it, it starts to kind of become moldable into the shape that you want it. So basically I'm molding my Warbla around these foam pauldrons. Now EVA foam or craft foam also can be molded a little bit with heat and that's really nice because that means that the shape wasn't totally rigid just from the craft foam. I was able to kind of mold the whole thing while it still had some shape to it from the actual pattern of the foam pieces. Since Warbla sticks to itself when heated, it's really cool how you can just seal the edges around the foam. So I made sure each Warbla piece was a little bit bigger than the foam, and I cut these off just using regular scissors. Not my fabric scissors, but in fact, 
a pair of scissors that because I was so excited about getting into Warbla, I got just for Warbla. So I'm really totally committed to this now because I have special scissors. They're just regular scissors though, nothing weird about them. So we are making some pretty good progress on the Warbla. To be honest with you, there is a learning curve. Curve, ha ha, so proud of my puns. They were not coming out exactly how I want. There's like bubbles and stuff in them, which, you know, it's my first time using it and I did pick <laughs> not the easiest project to start with, not the hardest, but definitely not the easiest. So. Basically, I started reshaping some of them. So the smaller pieces, uh, look at this, check this out. So I basically smoothed it out and reshaped these as a sort of a trial. And what I need to do is do the same thing for the other pieces. So yeah, these are looking really cool. So yeah, then these will go in layers, somewhat like that, but reshaped so they look really good. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. And I'm glad the reshaping is working out. Today my plan is to continue reshaping the Warbler pieces and then I will need to seal them and paint them and get them all attached. I also have the option of adding any sort of details or something to them, but one reason why I chose um, this particular pattern was because it looks really cool already without having to do like a ton of detail work on it. I haven't worked with Warbla before, so I understand that the best thing is probably to pick a project that's not too complicated. I know, right? Not too complicated. I pick like a three piece on each side. Weird pauldron. This time I realized that I could really flatten these pauldrons out a lot more than what I had done on my first go round. And so I kind of went through and really just heated them up and gave them a good reshaping. For the attachments, this is also something I took from Kamui Cosplay. So one thing she does for attachments is use little scraps of Warbla and kind of place them around D-rings onto the Warbla, and then you can tie things like straps through those D-rings. And because Warbla sticks to itself, you can just stick those right onto your armor piece. Amazing. Also because Warbler sticks to itself, 
I was able to just kind of stick all three of those pieces together, which is so awesome. And at this point, I was getting so, so excited because I mean, look at this. I made this. This is freaking awesome. So next up is painting. First, you're gonna need to prime the Warbla. I used Plasti Dip to prime mine, so this is just the spray can Plasti Dip in white. And then I used acrylic paint to paint my pauldrons. I decided to go with a classic all over kind of metallic gold paint. I thought that would look really nice with the costume. And I did a couple of layers here just to make sure I got really nice, good coverage. I absolutely love these pauldrons. Like, I cannot tell you how excited I am about these and how much I absolutely love them. They're so freaking cool. As you can see, the Warbla is not totally smooth and that's why it was a great idea for me to choose something where I didn't want the look to be completely smooth. Like, honestly, the texture that's in here actually adds to the character of the piece. Being sort of a fey, creature you know we're not going for perfectly smooth this isn't you know something you would see on like a manufactured armor this is supposed to be very organic and you know something you could find in nature right in fairy nature so these attach onto the dress by using d-rings so basically i tie some ribbons into the d-rings this ties onto my shoulder it has to attach to the dress itself and this ties around my arm to kind of hold it in place yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely love them i think they go really well with my new hair too hmm I totally could have done this project sooner, but I was a little bit intimidated by the Warbla. Once I started with it though, it wasn't bad at all. Like it was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Once I jumped in and really kind of got myself going, it was somewhat smooth sailing. <laughs> There's always gonna be a learning curve with new things, but that's normal. The important thing is that you start, you just get yourself going, and you just do it and you will learn along the way and that is part of the journey. It's so important to be kind to yourself too. So for example, I drew out this weird breastplate thing I thought I was gonna make with attached pauldrons and realized that that wasn't quite the scope that I needed to start with and I adjusted my expectations. And just knowing that I was creating something that I'm gonna be able to wear and it's gonna be so cool. I just knew whatever happened, it would be cool. I think those are good things to keep in mind when you're starting on new projects because we can all learn new skills. No matter how much we may know one skill, there's plenty of other skills out there that we haven't tried yet. And I think that I would have a pretty boring life if I didn't try new things. So this was definitely important for me to reach out of my comfort zone. So I hope you get some encouragement from this and whatever that new thing is that you're kind of thinking you might want to try out, I think you should try it out. What's the worst that could happen? Better yet, what's the best that could happen? Maybe you'll find something you love. I did also wear this gown to the Renaissance Fair and it was so, so fun. If you too are trying Warbla and you got some inspiration here, 
please feel free to tag me. I am Daisy Victoria on all the social medias. My website is daisyvictoria.com. And a special thank you to my patrons over on Patreon who helped me so much to continue creating videos and fun content for all of you. Have a magical day, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.